Okay, let's go ahead and learn how to add positive and negative numbers. This is going to be a quick power lesson on problems like this. So you can see here I have negative 5 plus negative 6. We're adding two negative numbers in this case, and the answer is negative 11. Okay, so if you knew that, that's excellent. But why is that the case? Well, some of you uh, may know this pretty good. What I uh, tend to uh, find is that a lot of students don't know positive negative number rules as well as they think. And so we're not only talking about addition, we're talking about subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. Of course, this video, we're, I'm only going to be talking about addition of positive and negative numbers, but you're going to want to follow through. I'm actually going to be posting um, additional videos on these various operations as well. So you definitely need to know this if you want to be successful in middle school, high school, or even college level mathematics. But uh, we're going to get into this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've developed a certain kind of teaching style where I really think I teach stuff super clear and understandable so anyone and everyone can uh, learn mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program. Of course, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. But uh, if you're preparing for some sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, or maybe like a teacher certification exam. I have a huge library of test prep courses that you could check out. If you homeschool, definitely got to check out my homeschool, uh, middle, and high school math courses. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Why is negative 5 plus negative 6 equal to negative 11? Well, um, this is going to be kind of a little bit of an informal type of lesson. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I want you to think in terms of money. So you're like, wow, you know, you might already be liking this video. You're like, money? No, that's pretty awesome. You know, everyone likes money. So what am I talking about? Well, let's, let's uh, get into it now. So here is 20. Now, what's the sign of this number? Well, it's not written, but if you don't see a negative in front of it, uh, you just need to know that that is a positive 20. Okay. So again, if you write a number, if the, uh, there's no negative in front of it. It is a positive 20. So any positive numbers, I want you to think of you having money. Okay. You can have money in your bank account or in your uh, pocket, whatever the case might be. So if you have a positive number, it's like you having money. And a negative number, I want you to think of that as debt or in, uh, basically you owe that money. Okay, so it doesn't belong to you. All right, now uh, some of you might be thinking, where is this guy going? Well, hold on one second. You're going to see how easy this is. So let's take a look at this problem here. Okay, if I have 20 plus negative 10, what am I saying in terms of uh, my financial money situation? Well, we can kind of interpret this problem as, listen, I got 20 bucks in my pocket, but um, my best friend comes up to, uh, to comes up to me and says, hey, you remember uh, I you um, borrowed $10 from me. You owe me 10 bucks. You're like, oh, I forgot. I do owe you $10, right? So you owe someone 10 bucks, but you have $20 in your pocket. How much money do you really have? Okay. Well, you pay back your good friend. And you're left with what? You're left with a positive $10, right? So 20 plus negative 10 would be a positive 10, okay? So that's how much money you actually have left over. So if you understand this basic, simple um, uh, example, okay, and you can think of these numbers that you're going to be adding um, in terms of having money or owing money, well, then this stuff uh, is not that difficult. So let's go ahead and take a look at some practice problems right here okay so uh number three there's a little kind of special situation going on i'll address that in a second but uh if you think you can interpret you know what i just said go ahead and try maybe pause the video and see if you can actually do these problems we've got four little problems that we're going to do and then i'm going to answer these in a second but if you want to go ahead and pause the video and do these real quick i think that would be excellent but let's get into our first problem so I have negative 8 plus negative 4. Now notice here, I'm adding, these are all addition problems, all right? So these are all addition. It's not subtraction, multiplication, or division. Um, of course, that's going to be in a separate video. So we're adding uh, either two negative uh, numbers or positive, negative, some sort of combination, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our first problem. And we're going to think of this in money. 
in terms of money. So we have negative eight. Okay, so what does that uh, mean in terms of money? I'm like, oh boy, I owe somebody eight bucks plus negative four. That means what? I still owe more money. So maybe I owe this person eight dollars and then I owe this person uh, four dollars. Okay, so my total debt is how much? Well, it happens to be negative 12. Okay, now there is a more kind of formal way that you can learn how to add uh, positive and negative numbers. But as long as you think of this in terms of money, you know, then it's very easy to not get confused. Okay, so here we go. Eight dollars in debt plus another four dollars in debt. Your total debt is 12 bucks. Okay, so let's go to our second example. And here I have nine plus negative 12. Okay, so how can I interpret this? Well, this would be like you having nine dollars in your pocket and your best buddy says, hey, uh, you owe me $12. So, hmm, what's your current financial situation? Well, you give your friend all your $9, right? You say, oh, here, here's nine bucks, that's all I have, and I still owe you what? Well, you would still owe them $3, okay? So here, of course, you subtract nine and 12, and then you can see the pattern here, right? When you subtract these two numbers or the absolute value of these two numbers, the difference is three, and then, uh, of course, 12 has a greater sign. To, uh, the negative is with the greater number, but that's kind of how you uh, more formally learn this. But if you think of it, again, in terms of money, you can kind of see easily what's going on, okay? So, hey, I have nine bucks. Oh, I owe you $12. Here, here, take all my $9. I still owe you $3, okay? All right, so if you're understanding this, that's excellent. And now let's move on to our third problem. And now I have a negative in front of a, a negative five. So this is a common situation. You're going to see this. If you don't know what this means, this negative, really um, another way to understand a negative sign is opposite. So an opposite of a negative five is what? Well, you could think of this as a positive five. So really this problem is five plus three. And this is the best type of financial situation which is, of course, you have money, right? We have five bucks, and then someone else gives us $3, so we have a total of $8, okay? So that is the answer. And now let's uh, go ahead and finish up with our last problem. So here I have negative 16 plus 10. Hopefully you're getting an idea. So what is this? Well, you owe uh, somebody uh, $16, right? You're like, oh, my, oh, my best friend, 16 bucks. Um, but... I'm going to go uh, do some work um, for an hour you know, or maybe 30 minutes, whatever the case is, and you make 10 bucks. Eh, that's kind of like minimum wage, maybe. <laughs> some of you are like, $10 for 30 minutes an hour? I wouldn't do that. Anyways, let's just pretend here, right? So you owe someone uh, $16. You you make $10, okay? So what's our financial situation? Well, you can give that person $10. You know, Listen, I here here's 10 bucks. I just made this. I still owe you $6. So negative uh, 16 plus 10 is equal to negative six, okay? Now, again, this is kind of an informal way of teaching this, but I find, uh, found through the years and through the decades that uh, students tend to understand uh, adding positive and negative numbers a little bit easier when we think of it in terms of money, our favorite topic. Now, if you got all these right, okay, if you didn't know this and now you're like, oh, I totally get this, that's the case. Let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus 100% and uh, basically tell you that you're doing awesome, okay? If you thought you are, you know, before this video that you can't do math or you're bad in math, you need to stop that, all right? I'm telling you right now, everyone in, uh, can be successful in mathematics, but you have to start with your mindset, okay? And you need to find a teacher that explains things in super clear and understandable way, and hopefully I, uh, my teaching style resonates with you. And if that is the case, go ahead and consider uh, thanking me making this little mini lesson by smashing this uh, the like button on this video and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math and everything in between. So please take advantage of my content, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.